You should pour your effort into understanding and working on your strengths. Some of the things, let me explain what I mean. Because people will be like, yeah, you're just going to ignore your weaknesses. No, you won't do that. You got to become aware of them, number one. You first have to know what you're good at and what you're weak at, okay? <clears throat> and then it's not an ignoring of the weaknesses. It's pouring the effort into your strengths and doubling down on those. Hey, welcome to episode 170 of the Sales Wolf Podcast. I am Joseph Caldwell, your host, and I am a sales wolf. Ow! That's weird doing by yourself. Huh. That is odd. So uh, this is what we're going to talk about today. It's going to be fast and furious. We're going to talk about why you should work on your weaknesses. And it's going to be really quick. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't work on your weaknesses to make them better. You should pour your effort into understanding and working on your strengths. Some of the things, let me explain what I mean. Because people will be like, yeah, you're just going to ignore your weaknesses. No, you won't do that. You got to become aware of them, number one. You first have to know what you're good at and what you're weak at, okay? <clears throat> and then it's not an ignoring of the weaknesses. It's pouring the effort into your strengths and doubling down on those because you can have a strength here in your life and a weakness like this, right? And, and, and work on the weakness forever, like detail stuff for me. I can work on being very detail-oriented and I could probably get it to there in my life, right? I could take that same effort that I got the weakness to there, pour it into my strength, and take my strength to here. Does that make sense? So, same effort, different results. Now, when it comes to your weakness, I don't want I don't want you to think that ignoring it is is the way to go. So, with details, um, I know that. I know that some of those things are really a weakness for me and it, and you can't ignore it. So what I had to do was develop processes for that so that I didn't have to spend my mental bandwidth because you only have so much mental bandwidth in a day. And if you can put a process together that will monitor and, and, and shore up the gap that you have there and that weakness you have there in an area. And so, you know, for detail stuff, lots of reminders in my phone, right? So that, you know, hey, don't forget to do this. Oh yeah, boom. And I didn't have to think about it or worry about it. Like the reminder popped up. Oh yeah, send that text. Oh yeah, check the email stuff here. Oh yeah, check this folder there. Oh yeah, send this here. Okay. And so we have processes and apps and all kinds of stuff that can, that can shore up a weakness like that in my example. Um, you know, if, if, if you are really, really weak at, at public speaking, doing it, making yourself uncomfortable, it's probably really uncomfortable is a good way to grow, but figure out what your strengths are. Maybe it's writing, maybe commu your communication style is writing to someone and that's a strength. Spend most of your time writing to whoever, if it's writing a book or writing a note or writing a letter or writing an email or, but if that's your strength and you are so eloquent with words when it comes to writing, that's not one of my strengths. Like I would rather someone hand me a microphone and stick me in front of a thousand people than in a room with two or three people. Um, and, and that's just a, a different strength. And, and so I've doubled down on working on speaking. Um, and, and I haven't worked on, on, writing. I have it because that was a, that was a, a weakness of mine. And so, you know, I have to remind myself when I have to do those things 
And, and it's not that you, that you never do your weakness. It's just, you have to form the processes around it, especially if it's a weakness where if you don't make sure it happens, that people get hurt. Um, and so, so that with details with me, that's how that is. Oh, you forgot your anniversary. Oh, you forgot Valentine's day. Oh, you forgot your kid's birthday. Who does that? Right. So Anyway, I hope this helps somebody. This is episode 170 of the Sales Wolf Podcast. Joseph Caldwell, I've been your host today. Mr. Tyler Harris was unavailable, but I'm sure he'll be back in a few days, hopefully, because I like doing it with him. All right. I am a sales wolf. Ow!